there. Now, we put one right there. Hello everyone, I hope all of you guys are well, happy and healthy. Uh, we're almost halfway finished with this project. Uh, we already installed uh, oh, yes. ice move. Our one of our furnace right there. And the second one will go right there. We haven't installed that in because it's a very tight spot. First I wanna run my line set. My PVC because all my connections are behind uh, the the unit, so it will be very hard for me once I install the unit to connect everything. So we would like to finish this unit as much as we can, connect the return there and supplies. So once we're done with this one, we can work on the line set there and then to start this one. All the dark work is done here, pretty much. This one will go to that bathroom and a bedroom and the return for Appster goes right there. So, I don't want to run anything from that side. If that's my access to the front of the unit, I need enough room for service or maybe a fan or something I change. So I can install it here, very away from the unit, minimum at least 12 inch. Now this was not touched, I can install it here very away from the unit many mama at least 12 inch now this was not touching the unit i will go on this corner of this beam right here so the unit is here so i have plenty space i hate to see when people installing a dark work right above the unit that's not good but please remember this is a very different job we're doing here there's no action for us the only thing they left is above the hallway like a five feet by 25 feet of space for all of this work we're doing. Once I run my dog work, there won't be no room here to even walk if I run it from here. So what I did, I asked him to give me some soffit at the corners, one there, one there, and one there, so we can run most of my dogs from outside of the attic, so I can have access to that unit. This dog is not going to be there. This one. <coughs> Bathroom. and also this one that way so here is clear to go to my to the furnace and work on the furnace if you have to, to do some repairs or something and same thing we did another dock from here above the unit so to clear the unit and a lot of that will connect to that unit there Then with all our dog work, we run everything. Uh, and for those people who say we all we only use legs, yes, in California we only use legs. It's a brand new house, everything is new, and we use it legs, and that's okay by state of California. So if you want to write comment, go ahead. Uh, today uh, we run all our dog work, everything is done. Let me show you guys. So. This one is a little challenging. This side, everything is finished. We run the return, goes all the way down. I didn't do this connection because I'm waiting to run my PVC. And also, it has, will connect. This one will connect there. So if I run there, it's gonna block my way. So let's finish the, run the PVC. At least we get everything run and leave it in front of the unit. So next time when I come, we connect it to the unit.
they gave a shit and every one foot a quarter in the point that will go down to the floor to this point we should have at least this is a four feet eight feet so eight feet probably like two inch shapes of right here so we connect with the coil and then we're gonna continue to take it to the sink so we have to go right here cut a hole here and then we can use the sink there's a hole already there so maybe we can use All right, so we have a, when you installing a air conditioning system in the attic, we do three things. One is the drain itself, which it connects to the, your sink. The second one, the secondary goes above a window or a door. And then the third one is your safety switch, condensing safety switch that we install it on a drip. So what we do, we install this drain pan under the unit and we're going to have a sensor right here. So as soon, or on the pan itself, as soon as it sinks the water, it shuts off the unit. But from the coil, one will go directly outside on the window and the second one will connect to the sink. Or outside someplace, if you don't have a sink to connect it, you take it to outside in the backyard or front yard. You dig a hole at least 24 inches, you fill it up with gravel, and then you leave your drain uh, condensation inside that hole with gravel. You cannot leave it on the garden, or I don't know why, but there's chemical in it. It could be dangerous. Uh, okay, now, so I have to run this one all the way. Let's see. So my coil is right there. I'm gonna run this one right here. And then in this one, I go from this corner right there.
will come from there we're gonna move it up goes here goes down there down there bring it to the thing we're just gonna cut it off right here like it's five six inches above there primer and everything. This is how you connect your train uh, from your coil to your sink or outside, whatever. So now we have to strap it, and that's it. This is uh, ready to connect to the. They're gonna put a P trap here, and this P trap will connect to this one. This one is gonna be under the cabinet. So when you see under the cabinet, you see. This pipe is connected to this one. That's it, guys. I wish you guys uh, happy holidays, uh, Merry Christmas, and see you guys next year, hopefully, in the next project. Happy New Year. Bye.